it's been a great start to the year. I think, you know, with COVID um, sort of dwindling down in South Africa, activity is starting to happen. And so Marum Jam is all about getting in the community, getting involved with the kids, bringing people together. Um, so it was really awesome. On Friday, we actually hosted our first Marumba Jam event in over two and a half years. And it was a Rising Stars picnic concert where we brought all the bands that we teach. So there was like 26 different school bands there. And we all got to come outside and perform again with one another. And it was really awesome. Um, this concert was actually in aid of our Rising Stars program, which is the outreach program marimba jam does at schools that can't afford um, their own marimbas or to host their own music lessons so it was a really um, wonderful way of bringing together our community to support um, the kids in need um, so yeah it was beautiful um, and yeah marimba jam's just been going from strength to strength this year one of the really awesome things with um, being one of the billion act recipients was um, we actually um, were awarded the award and then um, Chad Ming had offered us an additional amount of funding. And so we're going to be using that funding um, to start a brand new marimba hub in a new community. Wow. And one of the problems we face with rolling out our music programs into communities is the high cost of marimbas. It costs like 40,000 Rand to buy a set of marimbas. Now, I don't know in dollars, that, that's a lot of dollars. That's like $8,000, $10,000 just to buy the instruments. So with this funding, um, we've decided to create hubs where we buy a set of instruments, we leave it at a school, and then we invite lots of schools in that community to come to the hub every week and share the marimbas. At Marimba Jam, we, we're planning our festival again. Um, it's The last festival we had was in 2019, so it's really exciting. Um, this year we have our new artistic director on board and so it's really awesome that we're building our team together uh, in order to host these events and yeah just continue the work we do and try and spread it to more communities this year. So actually I have something very exciting to share. Um, I just found out that I've been accepted as a Mandela Washington Fellowship this year and it's huge because I've been applying for this. This isn't the first time I applied. I got accepted as an alternate candidate in the previous time in 2019. So, you know, it's been a dream of mine. And when I got this email last week saying that I've been accepted into the main program, it was just really exciting. Um, so I'm going to be traveling to the US in June. Um, I'm going to be placed at the University of Texas at Austin, and I'll be studying in the leadership and business track. So trying to learn as much as I can from the United States community, learning more about social enterprise business models so I can take all of that knowledge back to South Africa and hopefully grow what we're doing. Um, something that Ch Meng said in our um, award ceremony last year was, you know, you can't do this type of work alone if you want to go far. You require three things. And those three things are community, community, community. And it's something which, you know, you actually realize once you're in it that this year, you know, we have such an amazing Marimba Jam community of uh, volunteers and part-time students who work for us. Um, we call them our Jam Meisters. So we have over 30 active Jam Meisters working for us this year. And that community itself has allowed us to actually flourish in the work we do. And so Meng was totally right. You know, I, there's a limit to how much an individual can do. But if you have people around you that are, you know, sharing that vision, you know, we can really achieve so much. So I'm just thankful for my team as well. And for having that sense of community, um, because I really believe that was a very powerful statement. And when you actually look internally at the work you do, and how much you can achieve, not just by yourself, but with your community, I think that that is really how we change the world. So that's that's my last final thought is build your community around you with people who share the same passion and love and you will just flourish in what you do.